YouTube, YouTube, fellas, what's good, man? It's your boy Swain. Welcome back to the channel, man. We got another video, another dope topic as well, guys. You know, um, get my water out of the way. You know, I had already posted this video, but I didn't really like the quality of it, so I took it down. But in the event with me taking it down, I thought about a better point of view where I could relate this message. The topic of the day is, you know, uh, as men, we are entirely too invested in sports, guys. Like, I mean, I'm just sick of this shit now. So I, I got to do this video because I'm just tired of seeing guys never reach their potential genetically, mentally, physically, because they're so wrapped up and invested in what another man is doing in life. And before I dive into this video, it is one thing to be a, to, to be supporting, right? Let's just say you got somebody who's playing in college, playing in, the, in, a, in, a, in a professional setting, or you have a child who has dreams of becoming a professional athlete and you are using sports and when you watch it as a tool to teach that child how to become a better athlete. That is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guys who leave their nine to five jobs, who are fat as fuck, out of shape, no grind, no type of motion in their life, come home from work all fucking year and invest themselves in sports, right? ESPN, all of these shows over and over again. They know all the stats of all these guys and they're, they're watching other guys live out their legacy. But what about yours? What are you doing for your legacy? Why is your children looking up to other men and not you? I don't think there's nothing masculine about a man wearing another man's name on his back. I'm sorry, I'll never wear a jersey again in life unless my name on the back of that motherfucker. And here's why I say that. It's not to be harsh. I know some people are going to hear this and be like, you, you reaching, you think. But fuck that. As men, we're supposed to critically think. Those are one of the skills that make you a superior man is the ability to critically think. Why are you wearing another man's name on your back? Adding to his legacy, but not your own. You think that that's masculine to go to a, to a football game or a basketball game and you got your girl or your wife and your children wearing the name of another man? All the hard work he put in is being represented on the backs of your family, your seed, your woman. You think that's masculine? You think that's sexy? But I don't know. Y'all think it's a good time, right? Because society has programmed you that way. And this is what keeps men in a docile state. This is what keeps men from reaching their potential. They're so busy watching other men live out their dreams. Right? But what you don't know is you 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 or you might know it though. You might do know it. You probably know deep down inside. You take your girl to that game in her mind, she's she's wishing she could fuck one of the guys running up and down the court or throwing the football down the field. In her mind, she's like, "Damn, where did I go wrong?" I'm dating a fan, but I really want the guy who's winning, right? And your child is looking up to another guy. Your child is, is in awe when he see LeBron James, but when he see you, oh, that's just fucking dad. But dad pays the bills. Dad puts the clothes on your back. And a lot of times, you guys are so into these athletes, if you ask them for $100, they won't even fucking give it to you. It's sad. It's crazy, right? But have you ever thought about it that way? There's a different, it's a different point of view. It might be reaching to some of you all, but look, let's, let's just fuck it. Let's reach today. We're going to reach, okay? Does that make sense? It doesn't, does it? It doesn't make sense. You know deep down inside. That would fucking bother me if I'm sitting on the couch as I'm dipping a bucket of wings into fucking blue cheese and getting fat as fuck, and I'm watching another guy be genetically superior, be physically superior, be financially superior, and I haven't yet to even tap into a tenth of my ability and my talents can't even do one fucking push-up don't even have the discipline to eat a solid diet for three days but yet i'm sitting here you know swinging on the sack of other men living vicariously through them becoming successful and my legacy has yet to even begin because i haven't been putting in the work it's very fucking sad and you know it, i see this shit so much going to, to family functions cookouts and and Christmas parties and holiday parties and you see a group of men arguing about the stats of another man. I don't give a fuck who's better, LeBron, Kobe, or Michael Jordan. I'm tired of the conversation. That shit is not helping you. Who gives a fuck? These guys don't even know you exist. You're a fan. You're a groupie. That's for females. That's groupie shit. Who gives a fuck? And next time 
guys are having this conversation and arguing about sports and stats and what college a guy went to and who's a better player, look at the faces and the and the the uh, body language of the women around, at the body language of the women who dating these guys. In her mind, she's like, ugh, I married a fucking groupie. I'm dating a fucking fan. She don't give a fuck. It's disgusting. It's gross. Women do not like that. That is one of the most unattractive things you can do. Especially when you ain't got no motion going on. Or you don't have a, a family member who you're supporting or somebody that you personally know. That's different. That's support. That's cool. But when you just are a fan for no reason, it's not entertainment, guys. It's a fucking distraction. It keeps you in that repetitive cycle. So that they can continue to control society because men are staying docile. Instead of you getting off work, think about it like this. You already done went to work and you already done put in 8 to 12 hours of your time into another man's vision and fantasy. And you come home and you watch another man live out his dream of being a 1% male and you have yet to do anything for yourself. Does that make sense? What that creates is a fucking follower, a bandwagon groupy ass motherfucker. And you live your life like that. And you are actually excited about another team winning. And you, how many times have you seen guys say, we did it. Our team, we did it. Motherfucker, <clears throat> you ain't part owner. You ain't making no money off that shit. You ain't go out there and, and bust ass. You ain't dunk not one ball. You ain't run not one fucking yard. You ain't hit not one hockey puck. And you talking about we did it. You ain't do shit. Those, those, those athletes don't even know you exist. And here's what's even crazier. The shit's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Sports is fake, fellas. Anything that is that involved in money, is that lucrative, is that big, is making that much money, when they can pay motherfuckers millions of dollars, you know they making billions. It's rigged. Boxing, MMA, basketball, football, hockey, all that shit's rigged, bro. It ain't even real. Y'all getting hyped up over... Artificial reality. I ain't even gonna call it reality. It's artificial. It's a motherfucker. It's fake. It don't even exist the way you think it exists. Guys have gotten to fights, have lost money over sports, over being a fan. That's some groupy shit. I don't even go to concerts, bro. Only person concert I'd probably go to is Michael Jackson, and he did. I would fuck with a Mike concert, but I can't even go to that. So, Concerts is for is for females. Us oh, for bitches. That's some whole shit. Oh, if you go to a concert, you see a bunch of women there. I think I would never. I like Chris Brown as an artist, but I'll never go to his concert. That motherfucker already rich. Why the fuck am I gonna give somebody that's more rich than me money? Does that make any sense? My daughter the other day talking about she can't wait to go to this. What's the guy name? She like Young Dylan concert. Fuck Young Dylan. This ain't no hate shit. Build your own brand. Build your own platform. That's what's wrong with society. It's too many fucking followers and groupies. And nobody nobody really is a fan of their own self. But when you are a fan of your own self, people want to call that arrogance. You cocky. You a hater. Nah, bro. It ain't that. It ain't that. These motherfuckers ain't a fan of you. You want to know why? Because you ain't done shit for them to be a fan of. You got to build your own legacy, man. When you too busy wrapped up in another man's legacy, bro, that's failure. That ain't, that ain't, that, that, that's nothing. Let me tell you, this is not entertainment. This is not a good time. Sitting around in a fucking man cave, watching other guys be successful, eating food that's fucking up your testosterone and your fucking physique is failure. It's not having a good time, bro. It's not. I'm telling you. Beer ain't good for you at all. Just lower your testosterone, make you fat, give your belly fat. That's all it do. You eating all that high cholesterol food full of sodium and shit. Now you got the dead bod sitting around working a nine to five plan. Then you play 2K. Let's not even get on the video game, guys. Which is nothing wrong with that if you do it in moderation and you got shit going on. But some guys, that's all they got going on. I actually know guys who don't give a fuck about being physically fit, financially fit, as long as they're comfortable. And they play their video game and watch their sports. I don't understand that sport talk. I can't even tell you the name of 10 NFL players. I don't give a fuck. Right? Because I'm too busy working on me as a man. Me becoming the guy that I want to be. That's your goal. That's why I tell you all that, that sports is a distraction that has been created. And they use it in so many ways. It's programming. It keeps you weak as a man. Because you're getting your dopamine released through watching that shit if you are that invested. Instead of you really working hard and becoming, I'm not saying becoming those guys, but becoming a better version of yourself. These guys have became 
the best version of themselves. Right? You're watching that. But you're distracted from doing it on your own because you're too invested in these guys. You're a fan, motherfucker. You ain't winning for real. That shit ain't cool. You 35 years old. Fuck you wearing a jersey for with another man's name on the back of it. That shit ain't sexy, bro. That's not masculine at all. It's some feminine ass shit. And that shit for hoes, bro. It's not for men to be doing that. I don't want to see no more men wearing other guys' names on their back. Shit, go get a jersey and put your name on that motherfucker. You can customize their website for it. But that's just my take on it, man. I would love to hear what y'all think about that. As, as men, are we too invested into sports, right? And I'm not talking about if you play in sports and you actually out there getting shit done. Maybe you play flag football for cardio or you go hoop for cardio. Or, you know, maybe you went to, to, to BMXing and skateboarding and you do that shit and stuff like that. And you're actually doing shit too. But if you just the guy sitting on the sideline and you just a motherfucking fan, that's some feminine shit. That's whole shit. Women are groupies. Men aren't typically groupies. What the fuck y'all doing, man? The world's fucked up. Men are becoming way too feminine, way too soft, and falling way too deep into the programming of society, and the shit needs to stop. That's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, fellas. Until next time, peace.